And Hi guys, my name is Masi Kolatia and welcome back to Holy Tea with Masi. So today's video is a Q&A that's been long awaited because I've been asking you guys the same questions on Instagram. Um, so I'm finally doing it and let me dive straight into the video. Okay, so the first question is how are you? Um, I'm okay, I'm doing good. Life has been life. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm okay. I'm okay. And next question your birth experience so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rate my birth experience out of 10 and uh, i'm not gonna go in depth because i am gonna film a separate video on the birth story so out of 10 i will rate my birth experience like i'd say a five like a five but six ish um everything else was fine contractions you know there were contractions they were not as bad as i thought they would be the only thing that was like you know hectic for me was like the actual pushing part but i will go in detail when i do my birth story video so that you guys will understand exactly why i say that but overall it was not horrible next question transition transition into motherhood tell us all about it my transition into motherhood has been um great i don't have that much to complain about except obviously like losing quite a couple of hours of your sleep and just worrying too much about the baby and you know i've heard a lot of people saying you know you really worry when you become a mother and like for me i'm generally someone who worries a lot very very so having the baby just made that worse like i panic about almost everything i google everything and you know when you google symptoms sana you might end up like just killing yourself so um besides the worry i'd say trans besides worry and obviously not sleeping as much or let's say not as comfortably as before i'd say my transition into motherhood has been very smooth by the grace of god and also because i have an amazing partner who's very supportive so i'm not doing it alone i'm doing it with somebody who's very hands-on so yeah next question why did you give your life to christ i think this is something that i spoke about before but i'm going to mention it again um i gave my life it was a joint decision let's say like that it was a joint decision with my partner but it's what really like made me like really give give my life to christ i've mentioned this yeah i think i have um was a verse that i read that says that um prostitutes um and drunkards and whatnot and whatnot will not make it into the kingdom of heaven and it spoke about how we are one body and that we all belong to christ basically to make up this one body so that made me feel like i was like the way that i was living i was making the body of christ dirty i envisioned myself as like a leg for example and it's like every time i would sin obviously i would detach this leg from the body go sin and then come back and attach the leg to the body and it just didn't feel right it felt like i was making the body dirty so i hope that answers your question next question where do you see yourself in the next five years in the next five years i'm not gonna lie i see myself wealthy i think people will be like oh that's such a shallow answer but i'm just being honest i see myself wealthy like there ain't no other way bruh <laughs> But for real, I'm just being honest, because I see myself wealthy, I see myself living a life that I actually enjoy, a life that actually fulfills me. I am fulfilled in my life right now, but obviously there are things that I just want to acquire, there's a certain level in life that I want to be at, and not just in terms of like materialistic things, but spiritually, like especially spiritually, there is like, you know, a level that I want to reach that's out of this world. I've heard people saying they've seen angels, they've seen this and this, that have encounters with Jesus and all that stuff, and that's where I want to be spiritually. I want to be a spiritual giant, especially because there are not many women in, let me say, in the field um, that are spiritual giants it's usually men you know so and so and so and so and so so i want to be part of you know those women that are spiritual giants and i want to influence other women to become spiritual giants as well so yeah <laughs> next question this is quite a long one um so yeah please take us on your journey as a young mom and professional 
A lot of people talk so badly about becoming a mom at a young age and see it as a setback career-wise. I think it would be interesting to get a more realistic view from someone that is currently in it. Not Laba Abakurumanji. So yeah, this is a very good question. Um, and I must say that I completely like I get this question. I get it and it hits me because when I was not even six months pregnant, I had people already asking me, family members already asking me, so what's your plan? What are you gonna do? You know, what's the what's the next step with your job? And I'm thinking, I really I'm just trying to get through my pregnancy safely and happily and then I'm gonna think about what comes afterwards and also after I've you know spent time with my baby and then I'm gonna take the next step in terms of my career. So that's why this like this really hits home to me because it's something that a lot of my family members ask me and I get it really were concerned but it's it just it's something that kind of was upset like it made me feel upset you know when they would ask me this question because it was like really i just really want to enjoy my pregnancy especially because for me like the first three months of my pregnancy i was like so sick and then afterwards like i got better but then i started feeling sick again so having people asking me about a job when i was dealing with you know that it was just like so not onto me and besides like the physical sickness there were also so many spiritual attacks during this pregnancy maybe it's a video that i would do some other time i don't know but there were just so many spiritual attacks as well you know during my pregnancy so having questions like that was really just like oh. but get to answer your question <laughs> um i'm currently living in it but obviously i haven't gone back to work so i'm not really living in it but like kind of but i haven't gone back to work but what i will say is it's doable it's definitely doable you can be a young mom and you can still flourish in your career it is not a setback it is only a setback if you decide to not pick yourself up after giving birth if you decide to be not fine i'm just gonna throw in the towel and just be a mom then obviously then let's say that was a setback but if you do, if you have a plan then it's not a setback i felt pregnant i didn't plan to fall pregnant i felt pregnant but i knew would see after giving birth and raising my child to an, an age where I'm satisfied, I'm ready to go back to work, I'm ready to start my own business and whatever it, the case may be right now. I'm not working, I'm still you know busy just spending time with my, my child and my partner, but I am doing a little side business that's doing well. My, my partner and I are doing that, it's doing well right now. So if you have a plan, it's not a setback. And secondly, um, on that note you can be a young mom and you can be you know career a career guru <laughs> ah, I, I don't have the term but you can be a young mom and still be a career guru you can smash your career goals while being a young mom especially nowadays like it's not like back in the days you know especially nowadays you can be a young mom and literally smash smash your career like there's so many young moms i can think of that are doing it both that are juggling both of it and juggling very well not juggling it's like oh my gosh it's a mess but they are balancing it really well so it's not something that's like oh my gosh yo you pay limpy you know hey, you feel you're dead no you're not dead your life is not over so um obviously i'm a christian so i wouldn't encourage you to be a single young mom i believe in marriage like i said i'm a christian so get married have your babies get your career on track it's that simple and on that top of, and, and, and on that note of marriage it is really important to have somebody that will help you to do this though because alone asan, i salute the single moms out there i salute you guys because this is hectic even as like you know with two people it's hectic taking care of a child is hectic so i salute you single moms out there like big ups to you guys but yeah make sure you have a partner who's gonna help or at least family that is supportive and it's gonna you know help you through your journey as being a, as a mom not even just a young mom but as a mom in general because your guys are it's hectic like it's really hectic they are like there's a time where my baby and i were in hospital and he wasn't well so we were there for like a week and there was just this day where he was crying non-stop and he wouldn't stop and i was just thinking yo if my partner was here at least he would do something like i had tried everything and nothing worked so you really need somebody who's going to support you if your partner decides to go to look deuces then you need family members that are going to be supportive friends that are supportive because it's not easy on your own 
single moms i salute you like once again i salute you and yeah guys that is it for me today thank you so much for tuning in um i'm not gonna read all the questions because i'm actually in a hurry i have to go meet up with my friends and then from there i'm gonna go to the airport because we're going somewhere so i'll see you guys on my next video i'll be in the same outfit because <laughs> it's the same thing <laughs> So I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. This is going to take a while because I haven't been on YouTube in such a long time. So I forget the, you know, the things that I must say. I forget them things. So guys, please don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. And to comment down below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you and may God bless you. Bye.